Hello everyone, this is Hermin Dasuri, and in this video I'm going to talk about the right of way. After watching this video, you will have a clear understanding of the right of way. A lot of new drivers have a problem with this, so I thought of including every situation that you could possibly imagine with respect to stop signs. So let's take a look. When it comes to stop signs, always remember the thumb rule FIFO, which stands for first in, first out. So in this situation, applying the FIFO, this car goes first, then goes this car, and then this car, and at the end, this car. That was a very straightforward situation. Let's make it a little challenging for you. In this situation, all the cars come at the same time. What do you think? Who should go first? You're right! The person on the right-hand side gets to go first. You probably heard that from your driving instructor. Now, the problem in this situation is that there's a car to everyone's right. Now, that can cause a confusion. So in this situation, if I were in this situation, what I would do is I would slightly take my foot off the gas and try to move. If the other cars don't move and they let me go, I will go. And then after that, all the other cars should follow this rule, which is the person on my right would go first and then the next person and then the next person. So that's how you treat this situation. Let's take a look at another tricky situation. You want to understand this well because this mostly happens around a school zone during the school hours when there's a lot of traffic. So this will help you on the road test. In this case, multiple cars stop at the same time. Since this car came first, it gets to go first because this stopped first at the white line. Now, who do you think gets to go first after that? This car or this car? You're right again. I can tell you're paying attention. So even though these cars came with the first car, this car came to the white line first. So the rule is whichever car stops first at the white line gets to go first. So in the same situation, if another car stopped while this car was moving, then that car would get to go first because that came to the white line first. Hey, if you're new to this channel, then make sure you check out other videos in the video section of this channel. And also check out the playlists for different types of videos. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at the other few situations at stop signs. So two cars stop at the same time. They both want to go straight. So who goes first? In this case, both of them can move at the same time as they are not crossing each other's path. We will do the same thing if the cars stop at the same time and one wants to go straight and the other wants to turn right. They can go at the same time because they are not crossing each other's path. Now, what do you suggest in this situation? Who do you think should go first? You impress me with your knowledge. You're right again. We follow the left turn rule, which says the car that is going straight has the right of way. You follow the exact same rule when there is no stop sign. Now let's see what to do when there is a two-way stop sign. In case of a two-way stop sign, there are no stop signs in two directions. So the cars that have a stop sign must yield to the cars that don't have a stop sign just like in this situation. Therefore, at a two-way stop sign, you must always stop fully, creep up to look for oncoming traffic and proceed when the way is clear. So that's all about stop signs. If you found value in this video, then hammer that like button for me. And if you still have any questions, then let me know in the comment section and I will answer them for you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again with another video.